Hey everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix bad image error 0xC00012F in Windows machine. Now, here are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. The first method is to run the system file checker on your computer. To do this, you will have to open command prompt on your computer. So in the search window, you may go ahead and type command. You will see the best match for the command prompt. Do a right click and then click on run as administrator. Just in case, if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you have the command prompt open, you will have to execute two different commands here. I will also mention this command in the video description. The first command is to run the DISM to restore health. You can copy and paste it from the video description. You can do a right click and then click on edit and then click on paste. Once you have this command, you can go ahead and hit enter. If you are prompted to click on yes or Y on the screen, go ahead and click on yes or hit enter. Once this command has been successfully executed, the next command what you will have to go ahead and run is for SFC. So in the command prompt window, you may go ahead and type SFC space forward slash can now. Once you have this command entered, you may go ahead and hit enter. You will have to wait until this command has been successfully executed. And to begin this scan, this process will take some time. So you will have to wait about 5 to 10 minutes. It also depends on the speed of the computer. Once this command has been successfully executed, you may close this window, restart your computer, and then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next method. Now the next method is to go ahead and reinstall or re-register the DLL. Now if a specific DLL file is mentioned in the error, you will have to open the command prompt as an administrator and use the command. So you can go to the search window and in the search window, you can go ahead and type command. You will see the best match for the command prompt. Do a right click and then click on run as administrator. If you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you have the command prompt open, you will have to execute the command to reinstall or register the DLL. Now the command is regsvr32 space and that will be the file name. So in case if there is mvc.dll, then you will have to go ahead and type mvc.dll in the file name. So it, in your case, it could be a different. So it could be vc plus dot dll or diag dot dll. So depending on the error message, which is being mentioned in the error window, you will have to go ahead and type the command. Once you have this command, you will have to hit enter to register the DLL file. So you will see the window flashing on the screen. Once that is done, it is an indication that the file has been registered. You can close the window, restart your computer, and then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next method. Now the next method is to go ahead and install or update the C++ distribution beautiful file. To do this, you will have to open a browser. Once you have the browser open, you can go to google.com or bing.com and type the search as latest Visual C++ redistributable package and hit enter. You will see the best or the you will see the best results or the latest result for Visual C++ and when you're searching it, make sure you're downloading Visual C++ from the Microsoft website, from the official Microsoft website, not from the third party website. So click on the link. Once you're on the link, it will take you to the latest Visual C++ redistributable download. You will have to scroll down and until you locate for the file. So you can choose in case if your Windows is a 64-bit or a 32-bit, you can choose the link from here. Once you click on this link, it will download an executable file on the computer. Wait for the download to complete. Download is complete. Double click on the installation. Click on the I accept and then click on install now. Follow the step-by-step -step instructions on the screen. Once the Visual C++ has been successfully downloaded, restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next method. Now the next method to resolve this issue is to go ahead and download and install the latest update. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings, you may go ahead and click on Windows Update. On the Windows Update, you may go ahead and click on 
check for the updates. This will go and download and install the latest updates on the computer. Once the update has been successfully downloaded, go and install those updates, restart your computer, and then check if your issue has been resolved. So all these steps should definitely fix the problem. In spite of trying all this step, and if you're still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.